Another staple of Valentine's Day is poetry. Oklahoma was one of the first states in the U.S. to appoint a poet laureate. The word laureate comes from the word laurel. Presenting a laurel is an ancient tradition, official confirmation that one is proficient in the arts and poetry, or is a victor. Oklahoma's current poet laureate is from Norman, and he's known around the nation for his written verse. I handwrite, every poem is handwritten first and then it gets typed up into the computer and uh, I, my journals are known for being really messy. I draw in them even though I can't draw. Um, but I've, I have handwritten a poem every day for the last 15 years. Dr. Nathan Brown sits in his childhood home in Norman, Oklahoma, leafing through the latest journal to be filled with the daily inspirations of a laureate. He's trying to find a poem to share. This is a good Austin poem, maybe. Brown chooses a poem he wrote on Tuesday, February 4th, 2014. It's called Read Between the Strings. He loves the feel of the steel strings beneath his fingers. He slides a clean sword down the throat of a microphone. An absolute master of the well thought out phrase. Strangely immaculate grammar, too, for the main stage at the Continental. Austin is the velvet rut, where the bards who can't cut it when it comes to selling out gather under red and blue gels on any given hot summer night to slit the throat of and save the world from pop music. And he's one of the giants, always flashing a quick middle finger when he hits the deep root of an overdriven G chord. Dr. Brown is in the middle of his two-year reign as Poet Laureate for the state. The Oklahoma Humanities Council works on behalf of the governor's office to solicit nominations for this honorary position. Brown was nominated by the nationally renowned World Literature Today magazine, published at OU. They nominated me there, and, um, and I had letters of recommendation coming from uh, other state poets laureate as far as New York and NPR Ho the, the host of uh, Stardate um, uh, on NPR, Sandy Wood, uh, wrote me a letter of recommendation. And you, ha you really have to call in every card. It's kind of a big process. And um, so in other words, I guess what I mean by that is it's not, it's not easy necessarily. And it's not somebody just pointing their finger and saying you, you know, but it is a gubernatorial appointment. It, it ultimately rests in the governor's office and the, uh, the Office of Appointments there. From the war, it went up into an attic. The Humanities Council credits Dr. Brown as a writer who makes poetry more accessible to people who don't easily connect with the art form. Uh, poetry, 50, 60, 70 years ago in the United States, sort of moved away from the reader and the listener. And it moved up into the, you know, poet's head or up into the, you know, the, the towers of academia and became this sort of realm where only the registered elite were allowed to understand it. And um, otherwise, no one knew what was going on. I, I'm sure it may be fantastic stuff, but the problem is, is that, you know, 98% of readers don't give a flip, and so they don't care. And so audiences for poetry in America walked away because I think poetry sort of walked away from them. As Poet Laureate, Dr. Brown serves the state by giving six free presentations a year at the behest of the Humanities Council, and he acts as an ambassador for Oklahoma. He's always been a sought-after speaker around the country, but becoming Laureate adds a stanza he didn't expect. The best way I know how to describe it is a past Texas Poet Laureate, Alan Berkelbach, told me that he said, here's the best way to sum it up. He said, it changes nothing and it changes everything. <laughs> and I've, I'm slowly figuring out what he meant. I am busier than I have ever been. I am on the road more than I have ever been, and not just in Oklahoma. Like we were saying earlier, I mean, this has resulted in a reading in Long Island at the Walt Whitman Birthplace Association. It's resulted in a West Coast tour of, from L.A. to Seattle and every point in between. It's pretty wonderful. And I am grateful, absolutely grateful. To find out more about Oklahoma's Poet Laureate program and about Dr. Nathan Brown, visit the Oklahoma Humanities Council online at www.okhumanities.org.